It's time to get a little bit more complex with these. Um, in this video, we're going to factor when a doesn't equal 1. So you notice this 12 out in front. That 12 is going to make this a far tougher problem. Um, but we're not scared. Okay. So what I want to do in this problem is, you know how before we wanted things that multiplied? We wanted things that multiplied to C and they needed to add up to our B value. Well, in this problem, we're just going to change that a little bit. We want things that still add up to B. That's fine. So we want them to add up to 13. But what we want is things that mul uh, multiply to A times C. So that's 12 times 3, which is 36. Um, I'm going to start coming up with these factors. 36, 36. So uh, let's see here. I could do 1 and 36, 2 and 18, um, 4 and 9, 9 and 4, 18 and 2, 36 and 1. So when I start adding these up together, this will be 37, so that's no good. This will be 20, so that's no good. This will be 13, we have a winner, and it's 4 and 9, right? So 4 and 9, so watch what I'm going to do here. Um, in a previous example, right, what we would do is we would say that this would be x plus 4 and x plus 9. Now, we are going to overshoot the answer, right? Because if I just was to multiply this out, I would get x times x is x squared, not 12x squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 12x on both sides. Still, this is wrong. If I was to FOIL this out, I'd get 12x times 12x. 12x times 12x would be 144x squared. So I know I'm, I'm 12 times too big. Uh, this answer is 12 times too big right now. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm gonna have to reconcile that. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to factor out anything I can from this. And I'll give you a hint. What I'm going to be able to factor out is going to be exactly 12. Um, and that's going to kind of compensate for, um, for before, right? So let's see here. Let's go start from this first one. 12 and 4. The biggest thing that I can take out of 12 and 4 is 4, right? If I take a 4 out of those two, this becomes 12 divided by 4 is 3x plus 1. It's like the opposite of distribution. I'm going to do the same thing over here, 12x plus 9. The biggest thing that I can take out of that is I can take a 3 from both of those, right? If I take a 3 from 12, that'll become 4x. If I take a 3 from 9, that'll become 3. Now, remember when I said that was 12 times too big? <laughs> now, out here, I have this extra 3 times 4, which is just 12, right? Well, I'm going to get rid of that to kind of fix it. So this right here is my final solution then. 3x plus 1 and 4x plus 3. So that's my final solution. Just like all these factor problems, we can, uh, we can multiply it back out to see if we got the right answer. 3x times 4x, 12x squared, good start. 3x times 3 is 9. 1 times 4, uh, sorry, 9x, and that'll be 4x, and that'll be 3. If I combine like terms here, these middle ones, I'll get 12x squared plus 13x plus 3. So I've got the exact same answer.